guys, this is The Slinger, and this is another Warframe Grind video. Alright guys, I was just looking through my Rivens, and um, <clears throat> I've come to the limit of what I can hold Riven-wise for right now, and a little bit low on plat, don't feel like spending any money on Riven spots. I don't even know if I can buy any more at this point, I have so many. So <clears throat> I know there is a total cap. I forget what it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically uh, unveil some Rivens today. And it's actually pretty easy. I just go to Silesia and um, <clears throat> uh, I have a build here with an empty spot on purpose. And I just pop this in here. And just so you know, today, yesterday... Days are running in together. Yesterday, they kind of gave the Kuva Ayanga a little um, nerf. But honestly, this thing is so badass, it doesn't even matter. So, yeah, I just... Pretty much most of this stuff with Arc Rivens, you can just go to Silesia. And um, it's usually like kill 110 people without using a resource or without getting something 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 but either way i go to silesia it's the best for leveling and it's the best for everything arc wing if because like okay who says oh man i really want to do arc wing today nobody all right so you go there for a reason you you're mastering stuff or um all right, so well, without magnetic affecting me, I never ever liked Arcwing. I just learned to deal with it, and that's one of the things in this game. You're gonna have to deal with stuff you don't like if you want to level up, mastery, and stuff like that. Never been like, oh man, I can't wait to do an Arcwing. Um, no, but Silesia makes it easier. You get the most for you get the most bang for your buck here. And um, you can kill a good amount of enemies here. So, and I'm pretty decked out on my arc wing stuff now. So, I wouldn't mind getting some nice ribbons. I don't have good arc wing ribbons. So, I guess it'd be cool to have them. But I, I, in another way, the reason I don't have them is because nobody cares. You know about Rivens for Arc Wings. I mean, it'd be nice if I got a Muslin Riven because you actually use that outside of the Arc Wing and just use it, you know, for your Necromac or whatever. The Ianga is good too. Like the Ianga is, I think, really a top gun. The Ianga and the um, the Kuva. Don't get me wrong. And the uh, Muslin are like my two top tier guns um, when it comes to this stuff, when it comes to Arcwing. But uh, a lot of people like the... Um, uh, there's another Kuva gun that's an Arcwing gun, but it's not as good as the Ianga. And that's my personal opinion. I've had people say, oh, it's amazing. I'm like, yeah, you, you don't have the Ianga yet. It's pretty easy to build, and it just kills everything. It's got AOE. It. I use a PlayStation 4 controller, so it's got, like, a really great thump to it, um, you know, for the dual shock. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's all good. Eighty-two enemies so far. I'm not even paying attention because I'm talking. Ninety-two. Let's do this. Hundred and four. We are close. Ninety-two. 
112, 13, 14. There we go. Like I said, just go to Silesia, play a normal game, and um, as long as you have decent stuff, it'll be no problem at all to unveil Arcwing Ribbons. I haven't seen any that look difficult so far. But like I said, I don't have any Arc Wing Rivens that I'm like, oh, this is a game changer. And I thought that's what Rivens were supposed to do, make unpopular weapons popular. But they really don't, because at the end of the day, there's a lot of weapons that without a Riven are just the best weapon in the game. And then you add a Riven to them, they're even better. And like, say you take the Inodome. I believe that's what it's called, the dagger from um, the new section. Um, that thing without a ribbon is is like amazing, you know. And even anything with a ribbon still that I have doesn't, I mean, very few things compete with it. So, I think they need to really juice up the old shitty... Um, weapons with ribbons. I think they really do because they're not doing what they thought they would do. Like the whole idea is to make unpopular weapons and old weapons new again uh, and popular, but it's not working because they don't make a big enough difference, you know. Now, I'm not, I never like nerfing at all, you know what I mean? But if they like nerfed a couple good weapons. I wouldn't be so bad with that if they made like old weapons guide tier with uh, with ribbons, but it's it's really hard to do. I do have a couple melee weapons that it made them a lot better, but not not like what you would think. So not not making those weapons popular again, unfortunately. Let me turn down my speed here. Oh. All right. Jeez. There we go. New controller. This one, uh, this PlayStation 4 one, when I click down on it, it speeds up instead of just pressing more forward. So I'm still getting the hang of it. I like it, though. It's an actual PlayStation controller, not just a cheapo one. So. And yes, I'm on PC using a controller. So that's about this video is unveiling Rivens is easy for arc wings. So, all right, let's get out of here. They really need to do something better with the Arc Wings because it feels so 1980s, the gameplay. All right, guys, get out there and grind. I will be. Oh, you know what I just realized? You guys probably want to see what the Riven is. Quartage. I... I think I have two of these ribbons already.
I don't care, like, punch through and electricity. Is, it's not good enough to make me use that weapon. So I'm probably going to take four of my shit ribbons and, um, you know, take them and, like, pack them all together to make one. And I'll get another shitty ribbon. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's video. Get out there and have fun.